Hey everyone, it's Dr. Matt. This week we're gonna be talking about sciatica, what it is, what you could do right now to help it, and also what the major difference is between sciatica and something called sacral ileitis. So I'll show you on the spine. Sciatica is a collection of all these nerves, even in through here, that come down your leg and they can even go into your feet. So if you're getting pain that comes from your low back, it travels down the back of your leg and goes into your feet, then that is most likely sciatica. The difference between that and something called sacroiliitis is sacroiliitis is pain that generates also from the same area, but it's through this big joint here. So this is the ilium, this is the sacrum, so they call it the sacroiliitis. And therefore the pain travels down, can come around the hip, can go down your leg, but it usually goes up until your knee. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you two things that you can do at home that can help with your sciatica, that's gonna take pressure off the nerve, and that's gonna take the pain away. So the first stretch you're gonna do is a hamstring stretch. So the hamstrings come behind, and what they do is they pull on the area, they put tension on the nerve, and that can cause a lot of pain. So all you wanna do is you wanna lay down on a good surface, so you could try this in your bed, and you're gonna bring your affected leg up, you're gonna take a towel, you're just gonna wrap it around the ends of your feet, and you're gonna make sure that your knee stays down. So when you do this, so we'll start without the towel. So when your knee comes down, what you wanna do is maintain a good posture here, and all you wanna do is lean until you start to feel the pain. You don't necessarily have to grab your toes. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna feel the stretch in here, and you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. And you can repeat this as much as you need, especially if it's giving you relief. You're more than, happy, or you're more than welcome to do this as much as you need to. But this is just a simple stretch that you can do. And if you wanna add a little bit of pressure, again, you're gonna grab a towel, throw around the back, and then you can arch a little bit to get a little bit of a deeper stretch but simply rotate from the hips, making sure your knees down will do the trick. The next thing I wanna do is show you another thing you could do to stretch out the low back. In this one, what you wanna do is lay it on your back. You're gonna grab, again, the affected leg. You're gonna bend the knee and you're gonna interlock your fingers, grab your knee and make sure that your, your leg stays 90 degrees. And all you wanna do is slightly rotate it to the opposite side without lifting your low back off the, off the table. So keeping it down, rotating this way until you get a stretch in through your bum. And the, the muscle that you're trying to stretch is called the piriformis, which is exactly where the sciatic nerve comes out of. So if you're stretching that with doing the hamstring stretch, what you're doing is you're taking pressure off the nerve, you're reducing the muscle tension around that area, which will also help. So try those and let me know how that works for you. But if you have any questions, I'm here to help. So feel free to send me a direct message or you can comment down below and I will respond to you. And if you have any more questions about whether or not chiropractic is the right thing for you, again, ask a question and I'll make sure to respond. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.